Boom. All right, welcome back everyone. As you can see, I'm back in the Clutina. Had a good morning flipping for reds. And I'm gonna show you how to clean and cook a red. All right, so I got my red here. First thing I wanna do is cut behind the gill. I like to get nice and uh, high up in that shoulder. There's a lot of good meat back up in there. Do it on both sides. Now that I get the belly open, I'll come trim that out. And that's a belly. Then I come here down to the spine and back. Going through all those rib bones. We'll clean up those later. Same thing in this side. All right, now that I got my fillets clean, gonna wanna take out the rib bones. Get right under them. And you can kind of work your thumb under behind that back of the knife and come right up with them and not skip any meat. We want to give as little to the gulls as we can. Same story here. Left a little more rib cage, so we got to get a few more, but no big deal. And there you have it. Two plays of sake. Now that we got a nice hot grill top and we've got our fillets, uh, we'll be using just a couple seasonings, some chives, a little dill, a touch of butter. And you'll also need a little tin foil. First thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and throw our fillets on. Uh, I'm gonna wanna do it skin side down. That helps kind of keep the fish together as it cooks, prevent it from falling apart. And I'll do the same with the bellies, skin side down. I also don't find that you need to put butter right away. I find that the sockeye have a high enough uh, content of oil that they kind of keep themselves from sticking too bad without butter 
uh, in the beginning. I'll go ahead and use that later though. Alright, so now that I can see that those fish are cooking well, they're starting to sear on the bottom, now is when I'll put the tin foil around them. And you may notice there's two bellies, which is atypical, but Ignatz was kind enough to give me the belly from his fish while he was cleaning it. Now that we got our fish on the tin foil, we'll give them a little butter. And then some chives. The wind doesn't take them. And a little bit of dill. Then I'll seal these babies up. or 20 minutes uh, right at the same temperature. Right, we've had these on here for about 10 minutes now. As you can see, they are cooking up beautifully in that tin foil. So we'll wrap them up, just give them a few more minutes to get a little flakier, but oh yeah, looking great. See those fillets are good and flaky now. So we should be all set.